Thank you for joining us once again on one of our trips to Water Priory. In this film, we are hoping to show the audience some of the mouth-watering benefits of game shooting. We join Christine in the kitchen, who shows just a little of what she does with the game shot on the estate that very day. Also, the very talented Amanda Emstock shows me, with the intricate works of art, that almost everything on a game bird can be put to good use. There's also a nice little piece with the all important pickers up who put their dogs through their paces for the camera. Please enjoy. Morning everyone. We're at the uh, lovely water priory shoot. Actually in the kitchen just to show people the preparation these girls go through every morning. Uh, later on we're gonna do uh, uh, some partridge shooting. We're going to fetch a bit of the game back to the kitchen and hopefully Christine will be able to enlighten you how to uh, enhance the uh, the game bird flavour and, uh, and make a better meal of it. Good morning uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to water. Partridge only to start with. We may go on to pheasants later but there's plenty of partridge around so we're staying. Partridges only. No ground game please, definitely no foxes. Once you're in your pegs, you're live in your pegs, preventing your fellow guns will pass you, and it's safe to do so. <coughs> We're going in five minutes, have a real good time, and enjoy yourselves. Thank you, Frank. Seven. Is that doing a drive now called Jack Nab. Uh, it's very misty, it's been a heavy fog, a uh, little bit of southeast wind which suits this drive. It won't be that big a drive, it'll just be a nice little starter. Also we'll get some partridges to send up to the kitchen because we're having parties for lunch. So that's where we're here. Okay. That's the first drive over with, and uh, to be honest, there were some uh, amongst the fussy, there were some nice birds there. Just got to pick amongst them. It's Frank started on a steady drive, which we were forced into this because of the weather conditions, but things have cleared up now, so it's a, it's a good team here today, so he won't be able to wait to get him onto some good stuff. It's Desert's funeral tomorrow and uh, Frank's going to play the hunting on. Just as a mark of respect for the huntsman and the and the uh, the career that Des had. In field sports, right? Yeah, yeah. Just a mark of respect for the sportsman.
it's starting second drive, cat's whiskers, which as you can see, it's a lot higher here. It's, uh, there's a bit of breeze got up now as well. They're still a bit, slightly misty, but no fog or anything. So I think these, uh, these birds will be uh, far superior to the ones that we've just shot, what we started on, which was just a steady drive while the, while the fog cleared up. You'll see some uh, absolute stonkers come off here. So at the moment, one blast like that is a stop whistle. When he's raising his arm, he's saying back, so he's pushing the dog back. You can see the dog's up there. Stop, back again. Our dogs can go left and right and back, and they can hunt on command. Um, now he's recalling the dog in a bit. She's gone too far. He wants her to come back and that's the recall whistle. So the stop whistle and the recall whistle is probably the most important whistle and commands that you can give a dog. You can stop a dog and if you can recall it then you know where they are. So at the end of the drive at Water Priory the picker-uppers that you can see are they formed a line and they're sweeping through to pick any birds that have been shot. So they do this in quite a regimented fashion and it's a military operation because obviously not one bird wants to be left behind so it's a really really important job of the shoot and they'll sweep all this along and they'll do both sides of the valley and they'll come back down through the gorse so water priory has a mobile chiller and all the birds go straight into the chiller and they all go into the food chain these birds go off and um, some of them go off to the continent, some of them stay here in England, but they all go into the food chain. So we have to treat each and every bird we pick with huge respect because it is actually food at the end of the day. Just discussing uh, about working dogs early on, Peter, and uh, I see Amy's just working. Is this a young dog that she's working now? He's a four-year-old actually. He's got uh, 
He's back. won a novice stake and he's won two open stakes. Oh, yeah. But the, he just needs another open stake to win, and then yeah. he's a field trial champion. Yeah. So uh, he's got he's got a lot of uh, potential. Is these yeah. the dogs that you're looking to trial later on, or is, the, is yeah. that dog in training for for trialing later? Yeah, this oh. is one. He'll be out tomorrow. Yeah. He's actually going out to Lincolnshire yeah. to be in a two-day stake. I mean, the main thing from here, why we're so lucky to be able to come here is for so many birds to be dropped round them. They sit there and they don't make a noise and they sit still and then yeah. they wait to be sent. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a good trialling ground really. I mean, Water Priory is synonymous with with uh, good drives, good shooting, high birds. Absolutely. Uh, birds for everybody really. It's, it's, an I, it's an ideal shooting ground for yourself, isn't it? It's yeah. a good training ground. It's, it's a prolific like producer of birds. Talking actually earlier on, you know, you like to shoot long birds, we like to retrieve long birds. <laughs> Yeah, it's like heaven coming here. Yeah. It uh, really is good. Long grass. The last drive today. Partridge mainly. Me some pheasants in, but we're not allowed to shoot them yet. And one thing about water, they won't shoot any pheasant while they think they're right. So they've got to be well feathered up, which most of them are, because I put them out early anyway. But he'd rather than flying right and very strong. Well, a nice finish at day, and he just managed to get that last driving without any rain dropping on us. Just starting to come now. There were some bloody lovely parties on there, funny enough. Obviously, uh, the last batch of rain hasn't wet them too much because they flew well there. Uh, back to the kitchens now, John, and see if our dinner's uh, done with these uh, with today's product. We're in the water priory kitchen again. We've done shooting now. It's the end of the day. We're waiting for our lunch. And Christine, the water priory chef, she's got uh, a pheasant prepared now. She's also done the passes that we sent up early on, but this is a pheasant that, uh, that was shot as well that she's doing. Uh, what, what have you done with this pheasant, uh, Christine? So we've stuffed it with um, sage and marjoram and breadcrumbs and then wrapped it in bacon and cooked it for 10 minutes and I'm going to serve this as an appetizer. And it looks absolutely delicious, Christine. Good. But it's nice to see the product used, uh, Frank, in, in such a way. It is, and it is. It is important that we do use yeah. it, and, and we, are, we are using it. And you Christine's full of ideas. Yeah. She's, uh, she's not frightened to experiment, and up to press, she's doing 110%. And for a lot of years, we've never had as many comments on our kitchen. And I think a lot of it, well, a lot of it's down to Christine, obviously, but it's using local produce. Yeah. What, what more? Could you get more healthier than that? Yeah. Well, we had some parties last week, and and uh, every uh, down to every last man, everybody enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. marvellous. And, that's what to do. and and really, the industry should have done this maybe 10, 15 years ago. Frank, you know, done their own in-house cooking and uh, and maybe their own in-house processing. Yeah. You know, I think yeah, that's yeah. I think that's something to yeah. that's coming anywhere yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You know. We've got people coming from all walks of life chasing our game down now. Yeah, I mean, legally, not the poachers, you know, wanting the stuff that we're producing. Yeah. yeah, look how juicy that is, and how, you know, it's absolutely beautiful that. I mean, we've got a lot of people who actually, in like bodybuilding and things like that, are using it because it's an alternative to chicken, not the stuffed ones, just the, just the lean breasts and everything else. And it's, a, it, it's, it's, a super, it's a superfood, that, without a doubt, it, and it is a true superfood. We're, we're having a dinner with partridge and pheasant today. And uh, this is just another thing that uh, that we can make use of the game bird. What you're doing, Absolutely. these uh, 
firstly, this is at decoration, yeah? Yeah. Can you tell me what the uh, what it's made of? This. These these are all pheasant feathers. Yeah. And they are some of them are sprayed gold as well. Obviously, the poms are very popular, so I thought, why not make a pom yeah. out of um, yeah. pheasant feathers? We're just you know showing people that uh, there's nothing goes to waste at all with these game birds, and I think you've done a fantastic job, Amanda. Oh, I mean, you're looking at these. These are are these the table decorations or? Things that they can use them at weddings and things yeah. like that. Um, Absolutely beautiful. And, things and, and it just shows how gorgeous the birds yeah. are. As far as um, selling this material, are you, are you going online with this? Or yeah, I mean, yeah uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll name my business AH Fascinator and Feather Designs, and there'll be a, a Facebook page right. um, so people can contact me through there. Being here, um, is actually shaped, shaped me as a person and yeah. I don't think I would be as confident yeah. or anything like that as I am yeah. today if it wasn't for coming beating. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's and brilliant. That. And then this is just a uh, hats off to yeah. the gamekeepers really. Yeah. I mean, like this wouldn't happen if it wasn't for them. Isn't it? Yeah, um, it's like a big mother hen this estate. Absolutely, it yeah. Looks, it looks after everything, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, all the youngsters that come here, they, you know, they, they absolutely love the countryside. They love getting involved, feeding yeah. the pheasants picking the pheasant when they're being shot, eating the pheasant, yeah. and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Anyway, Amanda, thank you. You've, thank you've you. got a marvellous pro product. Thank you and very thank, much. Thanks very much for, you know, for letting us see them. And, thank you for letting me show you. And then, uh, obviously, yeah, let's get them out there.